Okay, we're good. All right. Good evening. We are going to call the uh, Heritage Commission meeting to order. And if I can do a roll call, now I have to find the document again. Sorry. Uh, so do I have uh, Kate Sullivan? Here. Charlie Ford? Here. Charles Forestick? Here. Carol Hall? Actually, we need to take Carol off. Sorry. Carol Bruce? Here. Amy Widorf? Here. Julie Lemos? Judy Kane? Here. Damien Crigo? Did I say Here. that right, Damien? Yes, thank you, Christine. Uh, and um, uh, Betty Standish? Why and Jill we, Fletcher. Why did we take Carol? Carol resigned. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Uh, two months ago, Peter? Yeah. Sounds right, yeah. Yeah. So just for our records, we might want to clarify that. So hi, everybody. It's a lovely day. What happened to spring? Every time you turn around, it's 70 degrees, then it's back down to 50 and crappy weather. But... <laughs> Kind of like it is what it is. Great. Okay. <laughs> um, they didn't do much about it. I know. I know. Um, so if I can have a motion to approve the minutes of the March meeting. So moved. Second. Could we have? Could we have the uh, changes? Every time it says Carol Fall, it's Carol Bruce. Oh, in the minutes? Well, let's minutes. put the motion on the table first. So we have a motion from Charlie, a second from Kate. Um, any corrections, additions, edits? Carol, go for it. Yeah, anytime you see Carol Hall, it's Carol Bruce. Well, who's recording last meeting? We have a new recording secretary, so. My apologies to Carol, but wasn't wasn't my doing. Well, then you need to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I I could hear I could sense where you were going with that one, Charlie. <laughs> well, okay. Ah. So, do I need, do we need another motion to approve them as corrected? All right. No, I think we're fine. So we have motion on the table. We have a correction. If you two are accept, uh, okay with uh, corrections? Yep. All right. Then hearing uh, none, any other corrections, additions? Not for me. Nope. All right. Then all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Actually, raise your hand so we know. Thank you. You can't see. Oh, how's that? There you are. <clears throat> Well, you could use your reactions and do, you know, the, the raise your hand or the thumbs up. That's your other option. <laughs> Anyways, minutes passed. Uh, so going into old business, Peter, EV charging stations. I received um, some correspondence from uh, Eversource back uh, on April 12th. They announced that they are uh, putting together a coalition to uh, make sure that there is an adequate network of um, EV fast charging stations um, along the East Coast into the Midwest and down into the South. So I um, reached out to them and informed them of our, of our interest in potentially being included in that network. Uh, we did receive a response from a gentleman by the name of Mark uh, Massaro. Uh, letting us know that he will be in touch at the time when the details of a program are announced and uh, we would continue to uh, communicate uh, about that. Um, at one point we had talked about having an electric vehicle fair in partnership with the chamber. The chamber um, informed me that they want to stick with their traditional uh, car show and uh, wished us luck on uh, going forward uh, with a separate event if we 
so choose to do that. So um, initially we thought would be an ideal component to their car show, but for their own reasons, um, they felt uh, was not a good uh, match. So that's probably a conversation um, we should have uh, as to whether we're, we want to seriously uh, pursue that as a commission or have others maybe do that. We do have a couple of local residents in town who are very much um, involved in the EV community and they have both expressed an interest in, um, you know, assisting uh, and, and or uh, potentially leading uh, such an event. So um, maybe we need to schedule an offline conversation with them and, and see what level of interest they actually have in, um, in doing that. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Other thoughts? Did you talk to Paul Brerin? Yes. Okay, he's really, really into it. I yes, mean, he is. Tesla, but, um, Both of them are very into it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I can't say that I am. I, I, you know, think it's a good idea because there is interest out there and um, G, GM is going to go 100% um, electric by 2035, which I may or may not be here for that, but um, <laughs> it's going in that direction. And Honda just announced something yesterday similar to that. So, cool. yes. So, um, in any event, um, so that's that's kind of the status. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it is the fastest growing industry in the car world. So, not surprising. Um, so, yeah, I think it makes sense to take it offline. I'm just wondering if you could piggyback a small kind of event with something else going on in town. So, it does, you don't have to spend as much effort in putting something together? Yeah, you know? I think, um, you know, people are now starting to come, come back online and we're talking about events. So, um, so maybe once some of those plans are more formalized, we can uh, reach out and partner uh, yep. with somebody. And, uh, you know, we would just need a, um, Proposal. You know, a, a large area to, or designated area to set up, uh, set up, shop maybe uh maybe not in the keeney because that you know does get its own use but maybe in the first church the back parking lot there or mm -hmm. when there's some other event going on we can have that conversation i could yeah. i could suggest it to josh too for behind the barn is if we have a date that's not booked for a wedding right that would be an interesting location i'll, I'll mention it to him okay might we think about electric bicycles at the same time there you go. Yeah. Sure. yeah. That way we can uh, get the bike walk guys to uh, to help participate. Us walk. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got Trek Bicycle right over the town line who has electric bikes, who so I'm so sure would be very to, happy. You ask them to bring some and uh, have a demonstration. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, uh, and Peter, just for the record, Jesse Smith has joined the meeting. Yes. <clears throat> So, okay, great. So, uh, sorry, my computer does not want to work. Um, all right, visitor map and kiosk the Connecticut Humanities quick grant update. We, have, we had our kickoff meeting um, a couple weeks back. Our next meeting is scheduled for uh, May 11th. Um, just a refresher, uh, Trinity Parish and uh, Great Meadows Conservation Trust Wood Parcel uh, ha have an interest in being included in the Heritage Walk. So we had a kickoff meeting, explained the rules uh, of the grant, uh, reminded everybody of their uh, matching um, contributions. Um, it was a good kickoff meeting. Uh, they are now working on their individual signage and we'll, we will have a status meeting on May 11th to try and keep on schedule with the idea that these will be installed uh, in the fall. Um, we're going to use the same manufacturer. We're going to use the same designers. Um, and we're also going to incorporate the business directory uh, sign uh, as well. So Phil Lohman is also uh, on the team as well. The Historical Society is providing some in-kind services. The town uh, is as well. So um, we're off to a good start. Okay, great. Excellent. It'll be nice to see those come fall. 
especially the business directory. So great. Uh, do we have any updates on the Heritage Commission membership or appointments? No. I didn't think so. Uh, promo video? I have not had the time to uh, work on that. Um, yep. And I haven't had a chance to talk to the manager, given the fact that he has been almost consumed by the budget uh, process. Yeah. So that uh, we had a budget meeting last night. So we're beginning to get towards the end of that process, which should open up some uh, time to focus on some of these other things. OK, Peter, do you mm -hmm. want to put that on the back burner for a couple of months? Uh, probably. Um, I think it's probably also give, gives us time to research some other folks who might be out there who do these kind of things. Yep. So we have a, a bigger um, list of uh, folks with those skill sets. Okay. Peter, Christine. Yeah, Damien. A uh, question for both of you. I wasn't aware that um, you mentioned a second ago um, composition of the Heritage Commission. If you're looking for anyone else to join, it just so happens uh, there's a couple architects that have moved in across the street from my house. I don't know if that would be relevant, but I was thinking about getting in touch with them about um, helping in other ways around our historic district. That would be great. We um, have a fairly specific list of who can be members on the Heritage Commission okay. based on what the council adopted. So there's not a lot of flexibility there, unfortunately. That's fine. And Peter, I'm trying to remember where our openings are. It's Celestine Business. And I can't remember. Yeah, there, I, I'd have to go back and figure out who we put in the individual slots. But, okay. but, but Damien, if, if you wanted them to, if you wanted to direct them my way, um, I could certainly have a conversation with them and see if maybe they fit into a, a particular slot or if there's another commission you know, we have the design review commission as well. Mm -hmm. um, we may have a slot there. So, um, you know, if, if you, uh, after you talk to them, if you feel that they would be a valuable addition, by all means, um, give them my contact information and maybe they can help in other ways. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. We're always looking for good volunteers, Damien. And as you know, they're hard to find. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> well said. So, um, so Peter, let's put the promo video on, on the back burner for a couple of months um, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Um, and then Sufa Signs, she sent additional uh, information that I don't think you shared with the rest of the committee. Did you? No. I'm not sure if I did or not. No, probably not. <clears throat> yes, and I'm trying to remember because she sent it right after the meeting. She was really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, in general, what did people think about her presentation and whether it made sense for us to consider it or not? Josh and I were pretty excited about the idea. Um, it, you know, again, it's all whether or not we can get it to fit um, aesthetically in the district, but um, there's a lot about it, especially compiling data that really we thought sounded great. Okay. Amy, curious what your thoughts were? Um, I have some reservations about how well it's going to fit in to the historic district. Um, of course, that's the historic district commission's job, not mine, but um, <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> um, That's just that that's just my impression. I think it's not um, really in keeping with sort of the the theme we have going on here. But this, I agree, I, but I think that um, one of the things that we might say to them is if we'd like a design that's much more appealing historic wise, you know, right. mm -hmm. more traditional looking. Right. Yes. Did and they I, say? I, oh, go ahead, Judy. I just wondered um, if they can do something. And I think there's certainly going to be other historic districts that they're going to want to sell to. Well, supposedly there were some places, weren't there? And they yeah, were and that's what she sent over. So it's okay. still the basic design. 
I think part of it is they need that that kind of curved top because that's where the solar panels are. Mm -hmm. So they, because it doesn't require an electricity, it runs off of solar energy. Right. And so that curved top, which you may not like is really the access to the power to keep the thing running. Mm -hmm. um, uh, could they build around it so that it would look more like a little shed or something? I don't know if that's an, an outhouse. <laughs> An outhouse. Yeah, <laughs> I think, unfortunately, that design is the design that they yeah. have. They can they can modify the the skin on the outside with with uh, you know customized uh, material, but it, the shape, the size, is what you see is what you get. So I think um, at this point in the uh, evolution of their their company, that is the product that they are um, pushing. So yeah. Um, Refresh my memory, is is this in addition to like events and things, is this going to have ads on it? Yes, it, it may a, have that, ads. That's, that kind of smacks of like a billboard to me. <clears throat> well, it's that's a small billboard. I don't think it's appropriate in the historic district myself. Okay. All right. And I'll echo um, Amy's sentiments uh, because look, you know, if there were proper placement um, well concealed and it looked historic that'd be different but something you just mentioned Amy is is key and and that's the advertising as, as well as how uh, unsightly it could look um, so I'm speaking as sort of the liaison to HDC I could see I can foresee difficulties with the HDC we, we try to keep an open mind about such things but I, I could see this being a difficult application to approve okay all right um, it's and interesting that none of you thought had the thought that I, mine was the design didn't bother me as much as I don't know if we have enough going on in town on a regular basis to justify the use of one of these signs. So my concern would be that 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 you know here's what's going on would be pretty static because um, we don't, we're not a large community. We don't have, you know, six or seven things going on any given day. We're lucky if we have two things going on any weekend. Um, so I'm not sure how, how it fits in with us based on our size and what we have in terms of level of activity. But that's my thought. However, I do like the data gathering yep. component to yep. that. And it makes me think that we should explore other technologies that may or may not exist that we could install and it, they wouldn't be visible, but at the same time, they would give us the counts that we've always scratched our head about right. um, in terms of how many people are walking around, when they're walking around and those kind of things. So um, I like that. That's the primary value I saw in this particular. Right. Plus it's, it's twelve thousand dollars or something like that mm -hmm. out of the box which right. you get recouped with so the town would have to also feel that this is a worthy project and i didn't get that sense yet from um the town manager although he was intrigued um we weren't we weren't quite there yet yeah okay so uh, I think Peter, we're okay with going back to her and saying, we, we like the idea, we're not ready to commit. Um, you know, come touch base with us in another year or so. Yep, yep. And see if it changes. Does that make sense to everyone? Yep. Yes. We, won't, we won't close the door. Right, we won't close the door. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Anything else under old business? Nope. Okay, moving right into new business, certified local government. Peter and I will be speaking at the HDC commission tonight. It's going to be a long night for Peter, two nights in a row, poor thing. Um, but uh, certified local government has specific requirements that you need to complete in order to be certified. But the potential is that it opens up another stream of funding that the town can access. Um, to do projects, uh, whether it's capital projects or programming in the town. So um, it's, it's a nice feature to have 
um, access to that. So we'll keep you posted after the meeting. Um, and then the CCGP projects, there is a public information airing tomorrow night, right? Yes. Seven, six, six to 30. seven? 6.30, yeah. 6.30 to 7.30. Um, so you just need to go on and register, right? And then they'll send you the link, Peter? Yeah, send me an email and I will um, add you to the, the Zoom invite. So this is the public hearing and this will include the project down by the Meadows, right? And doing in the initial work at along that road uh, tying into Old Weathersfield, the first phase, correct? No, this is the these are the eleven projects, um, primarily the intersections. Um, oh. Yes, so that's a the uh, Marsh Street uh, improvements are, are Great Meadow improvements are a different different project. So this goes back. Oh, okay. Sorry. To, no, that's okay. Um, it's been a while since we um, we've had a conversation about this, but we had one information session maybe two years ago. Uh, and the engineering department has revised the uh, intersection improvement designs with, with many of the public comments in mind. So we're revealing the revised plans uh, at the information session before they get uh, finalized. So there will be improvements at uh, Maine and State, at uh, Maine and Hartford, uh, down on Garden Street by the playground. Those are, uh, those are the three more significant um, improvements. There's also several crosswalks um, at Center Street at, um, at the mid block between the Keeney and the Webb Dean Stevens. Um, but, 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 but there's money for bike racks. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the others down at, down at the Cove. Some improvements at the end of Hamner uh, for the uh, Heritage Way. Uh, crosswalk on Marsh Street. So there's a host of um, you know, large and small improvements. There's a couple of sidewalk gaps that we're going to fill. So we'll go over all of those at the meeting and uh, solicit any comments and concerns before they get finalized with the idea that we can start construction later this year. And Peter, will they take comments after the meeting if you can't make the public information session? A couple of people have submitted um, emails with their comments. So we will we'll, we will for a period of time. So if anyone can't make it, just shoot me an email. Um, we will post the presentation uh, on the town website. So if anyone wants to go back and uh, watch it, if they can't make it, we're gonna do that as well. Okay, great. Thank you. So if you can make it, that would be, I think really helpful, but uh, for those that can't, having the backup information um, is good. So, um, okay. Um, I'm just going to jump right over that annual report because I haven't done anything with it. This is now the second month in a row. You can all yell at me next month if I don't have anything to report. <laughs> why, why not this one? Well, I'm giving myself, you know, three tries and, you know, then you're out. So. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> I gave myself a pass. <laughs> um, bicycles on Main, who would like to report? Um... Well, I can report that thanks to Judy's help, um, Scott Haney is coming on Tuesday afternoon to do a story on Bicycles on Main. So that's the only thing I have to report, but I'm kind of excited about that. Cool. Well, I think we had a good turnout on Saturday. Uh, we had uh, 56 people who stopped on Saturday that we talked to. Uh, Judy and I were there on Sunday, you know, the weather was miserable and we only had six, it was 53 people on Saturday and we only had six people on Sunday. Uh, but uh, people are asking and they're seeing the bicycles around and uh, all we need is good weather, good weather on the weekend, uh, because I think people are very enthusiastic about it. It is a first time event and I think the shopkeepers should be commended for all the work they have done and uh, in a short period of time. And it is uh, a pleasure to be at their meetings to see the enthusiasm that they present to this particular project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, I'll second that, Carol. Also, the enthusiasm for doing, for participating and contributing 
to old Weathersfield. It's something that it's really heartening to see with the shopkeepers now. <clears throat> yeah, and I th they've done a really good job of advertising. Uh, you keep seeing a bike pop up at different intersections. Um, the sandwich boards are really effective, Peter, and the banner looks good. Guess who's making all those bikes that are popping up at different intersections? I think it's Kevin. your husband. I, I think it's my husband day. too. <laughs> I saw him the other day with another bike on the back of him as he was pedaling home. <laughs> yeah, I, every time I walk in the house, I'm like, oh, another bike. So oh, anyway. we, we can still use a lot more. We've only got uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm guessing because I haven't updated it, but we've only got about 30 some odd uh, bicycles on display out of 50 something. So anybody wants to encourage anybody else to decorate a bike and put it out, um, I urge you to do that. We are going to have Vincent Van Gogh show up it. in front of Silas Dean, um, Web Dean Stevens, I'm sorry. Cool. I think this has been a good cooperation between all sorts of groups. Uh, in terms of us, in terms of the Heritage Commission, this is the kind of thing I think we like to do. We don't create, but we support. Mm -hmm. And that uh, there's Bike Walk, Weathersfield, there's a Weathersfield High School Bike Club yeah. involved with it, as well as shopkeepers. And I hope I haven't missed anyone else who's cooperating with us. And the town, of course, is cooperating with us with the opening ceremony and the mayor coming and everything. So there's been a lot of people who have stepped up to this event. And I think that's a uh, that's uh, worthwhile mentioning. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I think it'll be great. Now we just need to, to build on it. So, but I think it's another great event. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the Connecticut wheelmen are up to 12 bikers, they think. That's will great. Be coming on the ninth. So that'll be fun. It'd be really good photos. To get yeah. those guys driving by the houses around here. Cool. The buildings. And what's the date on that, Jill? The 9th. They're supposed to show up at 1230 and ride through town. Yep. Cool. <clears throat> so, Jesse, it's something we might want to remember to think about for videoing. Mm. Yeah, that would be really good. And, of course, Jesse's going to be walking around with the onion on his back. On his back. Well, he's you know, the other. over his head. Yes, over his head. <laughs> God bless him. And I understand Phil Loman is going to be your protection. Good. He, he always, he always is. is. <laughs> he's my bodyguard all the time. Right. Right. <laughs> so now I'm really looking Saturday, forward to this. I believe. Yeah, oh. that's this Saturday. Okay. Hmm. All right. Anything else on bicycles on Maine? Okay. Um, Heritage Way, the Connecticut Greenways nomination. Peter, as I understand it, Rocky Hill has decided not to pursue uh, yes, the nomination. The, uh, yeah, their council um, postponed their vote on it, which in essence uh, put their vote past the uh, April 30th deadline. So we are uh, going solo with that um, designation. Um, a meeting with Kevin and Rob O'Connor from Bike Walk Weathersfield tomorrow to put the finishing touches uh, on the nomination form and make some changes since Rocky Hill um, uh, will not be uh, partnering with us, uh, which I don't think is, um, you know, a, a material problem since the majority uh, of the uh, heritage way is, is in uh, Weathersfield anyway. So, um, so I think all is well, we'll just, uh, but it's due Friday and um both Kevin and Rob did the lion's share of the work on that. So I want to make everyone aware of that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Um, any other new business? Um, I'd like I'm to the, yeah. The only, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Judy. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I just have a suggestion on the um, uh channel for uh you know the town council meetings and all the meetings and everything channel 16 on my tv um all day long or most of the time there's nothing on it and i thought some of the beautiful videos that jesse has done should be on that channel during the day um, and in the night when i mean just keep rolling them all day and all evening 
I think people would enjoy them and it may make people more aware of what's in Weathersfield. Hmm. Good idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to um, the IT guys and, and uh, have you seen videos on it scrolling like that in the past? No, there's no. nothing on it. Every once in a while, they'll have somebody talking about something, but very rarely. Okay. Or we could put all the photos. Oh. The photo contest. That would be good. But uh, yep. you know what? They could have a whole queue of different things all day so to entice people to get involved. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll see what they can do about that. I, but I think that's a great idea, Judy, the videos and then yeah. the, the photos. Because nobody ever gets to see all of the photos, so that would be kind of nice. And you could... I mean, what, we've got five years worth now? I, I hate to say we have way that more than that. Great. Yeah, right. Yeah. What, yeah. Okay. That so there's a really lot good. of, you could just have, you know, every week you do a different year and go yeah. through them all and then rotate them back around again. But even yeah. the videos with the great music in the background mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm always scrolling for something to watch. <laughs> that might be something <laughs> to stick on. Whatever, whatever they're going to be able to do, I suspect it would during the day will have to be something that doesn't require monitoring. So they could just run a loop that just keeps going around and around. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen that Onion Town video? I think uh, Baker Seeds did it. I would look it up. Um, it's a really good video uh, about Weathersfield. And uh, it's got some really good uh, shots and it's very well done. I don't know if we could ever get a hold of it because Baker's Seeds, you know, it's their video, but like that would be nice to run on there. It'd be good I, it, would aver it would advertise for them too, uh, for the Rare Seeds company or whatever they are. Uh, it's the Baker um, Creek Heirloom Seeds. Yeah, the company, Baker Creek. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can, re I can reach out to them. We still, we still are in touch with them on occasion, so. It's a really great video. It'd okay. be nice. I don't to... think I've ever seen it. Yeah, it's on, it's on, you know, Peter, it's if you're going to do on, that. It's on YouTube. It's called yeah. uh, um, Onion Town, I think. But if it's on YouTube, then it's public. Uh, it's public. Yeah. Right? So I you suppose just grab it off there. Yeah, I suppose. I'm not sure the uh, fine writing with that, but. Well, I think at the very least, Peter, if you could make sure it'd be okay for Jesse to add it to our Weathersfield video subscription sure. as well. That, that would be great. Um, that would be great. So, okay. Uh, Chris, the only thing I wanted to maybe throw in under uh, either old business or new business is um, we are getting to the end of the budget year. And we have and, to spend. And we have resources available. We never decided uh, what we were going to do either with new rack cards or the um, distribution contract. And, um, you know, we're beginning to come out of the fog here and people will start traveling. So I wanted to put that in front of you and give me some guidance as to uh, what you may want to do or what you may not want to do in the, in the remaining uh, few months while we have there is a talk uh, uh, at the council level of cutting the budgets further for next year. Okay. So I just want you to be aware that, um, you know, that it's still, the, the budget is still not in any way uh, safe for next year. Okay. So, um, so, so just want to This make is the that. time of year when we're usually ex Executing the contract with CTM anyways. And yeah. I thought we had agreed that we weren't going to do anything for the spring, but we wanted to start back up in the fall. So can we just finalize that agreement with CTM or get a revised pricing based yeah. on doing it that way? Yeah, if you want to make a suggestion as to which months you want me to uh, you know, get pricing for, I can certainly uh, do that and um, bring back those numbers. Um, they gave us a discount last year, um, but our, our contract is up. So I just need some need some direction if as to what months you want to you think you want to cover. Yeah, Chris, okay. I, I, the state's opening May nineteenth. So do we really want to wait all the way to the fall, mm -hmm. or do we want to get something out to start? You know, people are going to want to get out 
and this, you know, we don't want to ignore the summer, I right. wouldn't think. So if we could get something out, like for June, even May, but June might be good and go forward from there because people are going to be itching to get out. <clears throat> All right. So do you, would you suggest you June to what, November? Or should we do May? I don't I don't know if we can get May. All right. So June through November. What do you think? Everyone? And then I continue go for the year because if we have to spend the money, we want to spend it. Right, right. So, and then start up again in March of 2021, 2022. 22, time's flying. Yeah. 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 So do we need a motion for that or Peter's gonna, you're gonna investigate it? Well, if 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 you don't make a motion, I will have to bring it back to you at the end of um, All right. May. And then by then it's already June. So if you right. wanna make a motion, I mean, I, I think they, they will uh, treat us as they have you know, in the past at the same mm -hmm. rate. Um, so if you just want to make a motion, we do have the budget. So All right. it's there. So, so mm -hmm. I make a motion that we enter into a contract for distribution of rat cards from June through November. Thank you. And do you want to include any for 2022? Um, starting in- do we, do we want to continue from there, starting it up again in March of 22? All right, you can add that to the end of my motion. Let's okay. do that with the, ca the caveat that we have the budget to do yeah, that. Yeah, if we have the funds available. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Peter, we were short on, we had one rack card, a lot of and one we didn't have a lot of. I can't remember which now, so I'll have to, um, so that, I mean, the, the good news is the rack card printing is is very reasonable for right. 25,000 or so so um, right. we can we can wrap that into the proposal yeah so I would bump whichever one we were short of add those rack cards in as well another 25,000 okay okay all right so we have a motion to start up the rack card distribution uh, for the month of June through November 2021. Um, produce another 25,000 of the rack cards that we're low on. And if funding allows or budget allows, to also continue the rack card distribution beginning in March of 2022 till funds run out. Yep. Okay. So we have that motion and we had a second from Charlie. Any further discussion? Carrying none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion passes. Um, and Peter, I thought we were hoping to spend some of that on the video production, but that ain't gonna happen, so it's fine. There may be some other um, resources available through the uh, Economic Development Commission's budget as they didn't have their salute to business and right. there were some other, and, it, and they we have discussed this at, at their meeting, so there might be a, an opportunity to collaborate so that it's not just a historic Weathersfield, you know, video, it's a town-wide promotional, mm -hmm. so. Okay, all right, good. Um, so any other new business? Okay, um, Judy, you actually, we're going backwards, sorry. Jesse, we're doing these, we're, we're flipping the order. You're up first. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> I basically just need uh, a lot of information, I guess. <laughs> I might have sh should have brought this up maybe during the uh, uh, Bikes on Main, but a lot of it has to do with Bikes on Main. Um, I don't know if people could send me information or give me some information now. Um, I need info on um, open ceremony, kind of knowing what's exactly going on, like a little more info about it. Um, Let's see here. Um, the information tent is that uh, also the same as the bike, um, where the bikes get fixed and all that. There's it seems that's like there's across, that's across the street at WDS. The bike okay, corral. Okay, 
because uh, there's like a list there, there's uh, no one sent me anything but I did find that I got this list uh, bikes on Maine uh, I think Clarissa uh, made this uh, it's very nice but uh, it is missing quite a bit of detail um, so I think she's revising it and she's going to get back to me on some of this um, otherwise uh, you said that okay you said that the VBS. um but there's yes there's a lot of information missing there's times there's dates um names of events and i don't want to make up event names and have it wrong or something um but to be able to put it into the computer or put it into the um uh calendars i need an at like a name mm -hmm. for it and stuff like that uh, so, uh, one, actually, so one thing I think Amy can help me with, uh, for the historical society, um, for the 29th, are we, uh, is that going to be called heritage day for families, heritage weekend? Is it going to be called anything? Sorry. Um, instead of unmuting myself, I turned off my camera. Uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, History Day for Families is its, a, is its official title, um, uh, but it's always been part of Weathersfield Heritage Weekend, which we were trying to promote as um, something that everyone in the village would be participating in. Okay. So if I go with either one of those names, it's okay? Yeah, that, that's fine. Um, I think there was some information circulating that we were having... Um, craft vendors sell things that day on the 29th and nobody's selling anything, just, just demonstrations. Oh, demonstrations, okay. Yeah. We craft, are having okay. uh, a pop-up craft fair on May 15th. Yes, I saw there's gonna be a pop-up craft fair. It's only on the 15th. That's right. We're gonna do it the second Saturday, weather permitting um, every month until October. Until October. That's what I thought I saw. Okay, so it's it's going to continue. Okay. Jesse, there's Jesse. There's a meeting Thursday night at six o'clock, I think, at the Keeney, um, okay. of the shopkeepers. So I don't know if you're there may be value in you attending to, you know, get some of the details. It's at uh, Keeney Center. Yes. In person. At yes. six. In person. Um, okay. and I know about the opening ceremony. I'm, I'm introducing everyone, and I don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> okay. Because I, I, I want to start down. getting like the word out and stuff, but um, yeah, it, it's really close. It's um, at 11 a.m. I can tell you that. Um, there'll be a ribbing. Mayor will be there. Um, Mayor will be speaking. PP is speaking. The Onion will be there. Um, Bicycle organizations will have representatives speaking. I think Peter, okay. say a few words. Ribbon cutting. Yep. Okay, ribbon cutting, just ribbon cutting. Uh, okay, I'll keep it down to red that. Onion. Yeah. You're lucky. Um, we, we talked about getting the red onions bicycle out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can. Yeah, that might work. <laughs> That'll cool take some practice. His, his, his hands doesn't. Hands we, move, so. we, we decide, <laughs> well, there is one. It's in the Herbert Dunham garage, but we decided to. Oh, start. okay. <laughs> we had mer um, we had mercy on you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, I do. I have another. I have something starred here. So let me. Uh, but so info on the exhibit at Keeney. Um, can is there any uh anyone that can send me the info on that? Uh, isn't there a, a bike exhibit? Um, well, there is. Yeah, there. there is. Um, we have uh, one of the large uh, penny farthing bicycles in our collection. Mm -hmm. I brought that out and it's in the front hall. Okay. So that's the extent of the bicycle exhibit. Okay. But it's pretty cool. Um, okay. So they can see that. I can uh, add that. Amy, there's the also event. those photos that Christina put in the front window. Oh, yeah, we have photos. I don't know how you um, describe those, but bicycles through the ages or something. Well, it's it's historic photos um, of Weathersfield people with their bicycles. Okay. 
inches. Um, all right, well, I'm hoping maybe the rest will be able to update me on these other things. Um, like, there, um, there is a great deal, go, a great deal of things going on. Mm -hmm. It's just trying to narrow things down with a name and maybe a, some of them with a time and some of them with a date and just little questions here and there. So yeah, maybe Jesse, doing that meeting would help out. Jesse, if you could call me when you get through with this meeting and I would like to talk to you, I created that file and uh, it was intended to be as as concise as possible. Um, okay. So if you want to call me uh, when we okay. get through this meeting, I'll be happy to talk to you, see if there's anything I can fill you in on at this point in time. And also, Jesse, this is Betty. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not turning on my video because I have lots of artwork here that people should not be seeing. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> it, uh, We're all adults, Betty. <laughs> well, I know, I know. I'm just sensitive to that. So um, there's an open studio, open house on Saturday, May 1st. Did you get that piece of information? Yes. Yeah, I have that down. That's on the website and everything. And I've been promoting that. Um, okay, good. Thank you. As well. Yeah. Is there anything else uh, in May? I, I, I Actually, there are a few things. There's a lecture, right? Or um, For Japanese yeah, so, or uh, right. some, some art or comic art. Yeah, it's on anime and manga, which is really interesting stuff. But... Um, there doesn't seem to be any interest in it. And Tina <laughs> is traveling. So she said, I would just prefer to postpone it till the fall. So we're postponing that one. So okay, because I've been promoting that one. Uh, so <laughs> take, the, take that one off. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I, I haven't gotten it off the website yet, but we will do that. I'll, I'll take it, well, I'll and take it off those, our websites. That one would be really interested. I'm sure the youth would be much more interested in that. Yes, absolutely. It's um, so um, maybe when they're back in school in person, there you'd be you could boost it. All right. Anything else for Jesse? I'm just cognizant of the time. One thing, uh, you know, I suggested having the videos on our uh, channel 16, but it used to be that that was the scroller for all of the events going on in town. That might be a good place to have uh, Jesse if you if somehow to have all of the events listed and scrolling all the time, as well as the videos. Yeah, that makes sense. So, something to follow up with, Peter. I don't know, it's just, it's adding to the level of work for Jesse as well. So. Um, okay. so, uh, Kate, is w, uh, Web Dean Stevens, they have anything going on during? Uh, not in May, May, no. Not in May? We're not opening yet. Okay. Okay. All right, Jess, you all set? I think so. All right, then Kate, we go right over to you anyways. There we go. Well, a lot of excitement going on. Um, our curator is very busy setting up the exhibit for our new exhibit room, and it's very exciting seeing everything happening now in the new building. Um, so just the only thing is our opening again that we I talked about last month. So June 4th, is our grand opening ribbon cutting in the morning and then the uh, event in the evening with eight to the bar. Uh, we have a cupcake truck and an ice cream truck coming, but I am not having any success finding a food truck. Um, Village is supposed to be doing pizza. So if I can't find a food truck, we're talking about maybe contacting the local restaurants and seeing if they wanna offer a special um, for that night and we'll just advertise the different restaurants and what their special is for that night. So that's what we kind of talked about today. Katie, did you maybe try Doug Sachs to see if some of the farmer market trucks? I could, I'll do that. Yeah, I've been, I, I tried Mercado, which is El Pueyo Guapo, but now they're changing how they're doing things. And okay. I got all excited when I heard Bears Barbecue had a truck, but that their book, everybody's booked. That's the problem. It's mm. just too close. Yep. So. Yeah. So now Mercado. I'm talking. And yep. you might also want to try International Hartford. They're a nonprofit. Okay. And they sponsor One World Market, uh, okay. which does food trucks at Hartford Hospital and one other location. Okay, I had my notes so, here. International Hartford. Okay. Yep, just call and ask for Art. He might be able to give you the name of a couple of other um, food vendors. Okay. What's the date of that day? The 4th, June 4th. Okay. I'm very excited about 8 to the bar. 
it's going to yes. be fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, so oh, that's yeah. that's basically what I have to report for today. Okay. All right, Amy or Jill. Well, most of what we have going on uh, is going on in May. Um, we have the information table out front every weekend. We have our uh, uh, Connecticut wheelmen coming on the 9th, as you heard. Um, uh, on the 15th is going to be a pop-up craft fair, um, which is going to be three or four vendors um, that will come to our big craft fair in the fall. Um, uh, and then on the 29th, we'll be having our reenactors and we're having a veteran ceremony after the town Memorial Day ceremony in the cemetery. So ours is going to land at about noon. Um, and we'll have the horses in the can um, like we usually do. So uh, also our properties will be opening May 1st. Usually they, um, we I don't open them until Memorial Day, but we're opening early. So Herbert Dunham and Co. Warehouse will be open on the weekends. And the Kini is open on the weekends. We're going to expand. Um, the first two weeks in May will be open Thursday through Sunday. And then we're hoping by the second two weeks in May to be open uh, Tuesday through Sunday, our old regular hours. Okay, great. Okay. Um, we don't have anyone from the shopkeepers. Charlie, unless you've got an update. Yep. Charlie Ford. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hello. Yep. Yep. We can hear you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, just about all of the activity <clears throat> has been focused on uh, bicycles on Maine. Okay. All right, great. Uh, and last but not least, Judy. Okay, from EDIC, um, they are getting uh, some of the business outreach surveys back in now. And um, I think I'm able to tell you, Peter can stop me, <laughs> that there have been P uh, planning and zoning approved uh, brewery, breweries in town um subdivision at the old shopping center where Rite Aid was so that's kind of spun off now to be sold um and then uh River is approved for their drive-in theater ah. uh, the other thing is the Silas Dean Highway improvements we had been talking about that but there was an article recently in the paper about Rocky Hill that they're already doing what um Weathersfield would sort of like to do they're doing a road diet in on the Silestein, so there's more narrow lanes and adding a bike lane. Mm -hmm. So Rocky Hill beat us to it. Judy, you said breweries, plural? Yeah, I think, aren't there two, Peter, that were, uh, they, no, I, the idea of having breweries in town was gotcha. approved. Right? Okay. But I think there's two applications, maybe. The re uh, reg yeah, the regulations are in place to allow them, Okay. Uh, but there are several active interests now that oh. we've got the regulations. <laughs> that's great. Now we'll be flooded with breweries. Well, let's, <laughs> let's hope there may be a couple, but let's hope not. We don't want to be brewery capital of the world. No, no, <laughs> no. Okay. They can only support, you can only support so many in a community. Yeah. So mm. they'll kind of self-select out, I think anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Any other news from anyone? Nope. Okay. Um, I shared the Weathersfield Greater Together Community Fund RFP, which is out right now. So any nonprofits um, can apply for funding. And Peter, the town can be a fiscal agent. Are they looking for a specific types of mm -hmm. projects in certain areas or to benefit certain populations or? Uh, yeah, it's in the RFP. So it's really public safety um, child care, some workforce development. Um, yeah, if you read the RFP, it's listed there. And then they will be putting out the survey results um, as well and sending that off to the town. So, all right, any other business? 
Hello. Nope, oh, she's muted herself. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so our next meeting is May 25th. Uh, so if we do not see any of you during May for Bikes on Main, um, we'll see you on the 25th. But hope to see everybody down in Old Weathersfield enjoying the weather and frequenting our shopkeepers. Sounds right. good. Motion to adjourn? So moved. Okay. Peter, oh, look, give? there's Charlie right at the end of the meeting. Right. <laughs> Peter, would you give uh, Jesse my telephone number or my email if he doesn't have it? Maybe do you have my email, Jesse? Yeah, it's right. in the it's in the yeah, group right. email. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, All right. Have. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Ta ta. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye now.